Let's record. Well, hello, hello, everyone. Long here, and it is a pleasure to be like, uh, you know, uh, you know, finally playing like Lacuna for the first time in a while. Like I so I played the prologue previously, and now I'm actually gonna get a chance to like step in and play Lacuna. I really, really like the gameplay from the prologue, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this game for at least an hour for y'all, and I'll like. Uh, and uh, I hope that you enjoy the gameplay. Um, and then later on, I'll likely like uh, try to find time to play the rest of the game. And then, uh, yeah, there you go. This is my gameplay from the prologue. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they actually honored my. Um, they allowed me to like carry over my my progress, which is great. So let me do this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and like. Uh, you know, like kind of move my camera over so that you can actually see the gameplay. But this is a fantastic game, Lacuna. Um, I can't believe it took me this long to actually like finally play. And um, now I'm actually going to get to play it. So, um, yeah, yeah. All right. So just listen. To oh, yeah. By the way, on the let me go ahead and move this real quick. <laughs> I do apologize. I humbly apologize for this, but yes, um, I also want to give a shout out to the developers um, between um, of the uh, game. So uh, let's go ahead and take a quick recap here. So yeah, so the um, so the developers at think about what could have been. Oh, ooh, there's a there it is. All right. Anyway, so I want to let you all know, like Digitales, um actually like uh, granted me like access to Between Horizons, so I'll be more than happy to play through that as well, so I can actually like, you know, share with y'all about like how awesome this, you know, like how awesome the game is. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the volume just a little bit. Actually, no, I'll keep it on. I think it's actually on my side. I'm going to turn the volume on, down on my side. So that would, but uh, I'm going to try to like preserve it here so that y'all can uh, still enjoy the, you know, like the gameplay uh, to the max. Uh, well, as best as I can, uh, as best as possible. So, um, but yeah, Lacuna, ladies and gentlemen. So if you haven't yet, please go check out my prologue gameplay. It is a very, very good game. And especially if you're into like story based content, so which is essentially my kind of game. So. Uh, I had so let's see. Um, so right now we're on build uh, v.1.3.1.1, which uh, I believe this is the final update um, for Lacuna, unless they decide to do more stuff to it. So yeah. Um, so every, so basically everything that was here in the prologue uh, likely has carried over into the main game. So yeah, can't wait to uh, explore this game a lot more. Um, I want to actually like get a chance to like play through, you know, share with you. I can play through. So this is where I last left off, the Gara uh, Mansion District. All right, where did we last leave off? I think that okay. So I think I'm going to have to like play through this section again, but I pretty much know what I'm doing. So entering the villa. Zero missed messages. Smoked in total. I have only smoked one cigarette. And that was basically because it was like due to uh, plot progression. Auto news feed, sheets. Yeah, investigation mode, H. Yeah. Yep, so I forgot that like you hold shift to like uh, to run, otherwise you're just walking like so. Yeah, so really there's not a lot of action. It's really about investigation. Took you long enough. Evening, Gary. Shot with a sniper when he was... Okay, so this is actually kind of perfect, especially if you haven't played this before, but... Uh, seen this before, but... Um, yeah, I pretty much know what's going on here. Clean headshot. And uh, prologue video will, you know, demonstrate that. Staff's been pretty shaken up, but uh, nobody else is hurt. All right. You play Neil? Any developments in your thoughts? No, it seems like that sniper hit hit their target and ran. I also asked the staff if they noticed anything unusual prior to the attack. The secretary and the priest said no, and the bodyguards refused to talk to me altogether. How come? Bunch of radical, drovian nationalists, conspiracy nuts. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. What'd you expect from Vanny's employees? Not much. If they keep refusing to cooperate, I'm taking them in for instruction. This is Garo, not some long. Say priest earlier? Yeah, a guy from Banny's staff. His spiritual advisor was a, uh, and a somewhat prominent Savian front member. Guy's freaking annoying. Callroy says he can barely keep him away from Banny's body. What's the priest trying to do? F if I know, some really weird ritual. Anyway, we're trying to find out where the shot came from. It has to be one of the opposite high rises, but we don't know which one. I've always started looking into it, and I think we can pretty much rule out the casino. They ramped up security tonight because of a big fancy event. It would be near impossible to get a gun in there, and very stupid. We need to track down the perp as soon as possible. Get up there and give Young a hand. Copy that. You realize how big of a crap show this is, right? I can't believe he got shot. What did we miss? I mean, we checked everything. Kept tabs on everyone. Banny seemed to be in nobody's crosshairs. How in God's name could that happen? Let's find out. Seriously, Conrad. Uh, we better have quick results on our hands. If we don't, we'll be the first in line to be out of a job. Yeah, and you know, there might be a war. Just get up there and find out where that shot came from. Report back to me when you're done. I have a few phone calls for me. Roger. All right. So essentially, like, uh, we're so um, if you already... Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through uh, everything here. Home Plus. Logs. Investigating Banny. Okay, so we've got call logs. Uh, I'm trying to find where like they uh, keep all the um, all the objectives but all right let's see I'm trying to and let's see go up the stairs I'm trying to remember exactly how we go upstairs can I go upstairs I thought I was able to somehow. Why does he have exclamation points? Get in there and talk to Young. Oh, there it is. So you can't do it with a mouse. You have to do it with... Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. Ah, I totally forgot about that part. Okay, so racing up the stairs. Yep. So, just to be sure, I mean, like, one of the key important aspects about of this game is just to be as thorough as possible, look everywhere, find all the information you can, and then start making decisions based on that. On that. So, uh, so that's essentially, those are the police, uh, those are the v police VTOLs that uh, arrived on scene. Vertical transport. Yeah, there you go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we're gonna have a chat with Young first, so I think like the first order of business to like uh, sync up with Young, who's the C uh, C um, CI, uh, CSI. Let's we'll see. It's always nice to see you, except maybe you know it's the middle of the night and there's a dead guy in the balcony. Yeah, well I call that Tuesday. It's Friday, for real. I'm glad you're here. Gary's been acting like you know himself. I'm just setting up my mobile lab and I could use the help. Our number one priority is to find out where the shot came from. The chief already prepared a case sheet. Let me send it to you right now. He wants you to submit it as soon as you think you got it. Take a look around and talk to Banny's staff. Maybe that will get us closer to our answer. Got it. Oh, and one more thing. We're still missing an important piece of the puzzle. We didn't find the bullet yet. Let me know if you do. All right, I'm on it. All right, investigate the scene. So we have sheets. The shot was fired from where? That is our objective. So um, if you notice, like if you go to the sheet, uh, here is your... This is like basically your answer sheet and your goal is to come up with the right answer before you actually submit that info. So we're going to be really good about this game and we're going to and we're going to try to like uh, answer everything. So, um, so ordinarily what we would do uh, H to toggle outline mode Objects with yellow lines can be interacted with. People with orange outlines have something to tell you. Objects with blue outlines hold new information when examined. Gray outlines means you have currently nothing new to learn from the person or object. As you progress, people with objects you have already interacted with might hold new information. All right, so first thing to do is to look at the crime scene. So this is Banny. For Mr. Bannesty, as dead as it gets. Clean headshot. Uh, 
a Gatel Hotel. A Gatel Hotel. These are all over the city. 180 meters from here. A casino. Pretty much noi pretty noisy place. Might help disguise the sound of a gunshot about 200 meters away. The Sakura Hotel. Looks like a fancy place even at a distance. Maybe 150 meters away. Alright. So let's look at our case file. Anything you investigate will be cataloged here neatly organized by location. Okay, dismissing tutorial. And here's our objectives. Uh, investigating the scene. Uh, okay, so uh, this is very interesting too because like there's also stats on you, the character. So I've traveled like 692.8 meters, uh, you know, ran, made 866 steps, and I have a BP of 88 or 89. So those are just some things, things to consider uh, when making a decision. So it, it seems pretty deep. Okay, so next up, I'm going to investigate like, what's around, around the area here. Uh, the bullet disappeared into the wall right behind this closet. It's locked. Okay. And then what we have here next, we have, we have some... Okay, outline. Outline mode. Okay. Trying to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't let this guy. S uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I have to press the E key. Don't let this guy sweet talk you, Conrad. Two wooden spheres, the Bawas. Savians use them when praying together. Excuse me, sir. Are you with the CDI? I am, Neil Conrad. Pleased to meet you. I am Priest Arjan. I was Mr. Bani's uh, spiritual advisor. I kindly ask that you let me take off Mr. Bani's jewelry. It's a very important part of the Savian farewell ritual. You must free the dead from their worldly possessions so that they can safely cross over the afterlife. It must be done before the soul has completely left the body and we're running out of time. I'll hand the jewelry over to the CDI right away. It has no value to me. I understand, but I can ha can't have you moving the body. It's crucial evidence that can't be tempered with. Hmm. Do you believe in something, Mr. Conrad? That doesn't matter. My personal convictions are irrelevant here. The CDI has a clear protocol concerning the handling of murder victims and does not allow touching them. So you believe in protocol? Listen, Mr. Arjan, I'm not here to discuss philosophical questions with you. Please, I will be very careful when taking off the jewelry. I'll make sure not to alter any of the evidence. The Garian state likes to pride itself in its tolerance and liberty. This is your chance to prove to me that those are not just empty words. I'm sorry we can't take any chances here. If you want us to find the culprits, please stay away from the body. So they're empty words after all. I pray for the corrupted Garian soul. Alright then, I'm sorry. <laughs> tolerance seems to be an empty word on Garrett. Sheesh. Yeah, and this is the sort of thing that you have to like kind of deal with. I mean, like you, you tore... You know, sometimes like um, it th it can get a bit emotional, uh, but uh, like if you remember games such as like Detroit, um, uh, like Become Human, uh, you run into those kinds of like uh, you end up having to manage those kinds of relationships as well, and then you'll and then uh, you also like have you make decisions that end up affecting the possibly end up affecting the um, you know the uh, the path of the story the trajectory of the story. And that's what makes this game really replayable, is that you just go back and you just replay it, so... It's kind of compelling stuff. Hello, Neil Conrad, CDI. Are you with Mr. Banny? We already talked to your colleagues. I know, but I need your help with something. Do you know where I can find the key to the cupboard expert? Why would you need to look in there? I think it contains an important piece of evidence. I prefer if you didn't mess with anything before Drovian authorities arrive. Drovian authorities? We prefer to be uh, this to be handled by our own people. The sniper will surely be off plant by the time that happens. We'll share our findings with them anyway, I promise. Oh, like you promised you prote to protect Mr. Banny? I understand you're upset. We will take full responsibility for this when the time comes. You will, huh? What will be the punishment be? A promotion? It's okay, Eddie. We don't want to fight. It's, the only con it's only convenient for Gara that one of the champions of Drovian Independence is out of the picture. Please calm down, sir. We're all on the same side here. I understand how you feel, but the purpose is still out there. We need to get them quickly. If they have another target, we need to find out now. Shouldn't be too hard. Who else is pissing off your government? Please be reasonable. 
I am not your enemy. Yes, you are. Listen, the assassin might be on their way to their next Drovian target right now. You can't do anything about it, but the CDI can. You decide if your personal grudges are more personal, more important to you than people see. Just give him the key. It's not like there's anything in there. <sighs> Fine, here's my keychain. This better lead to something. Much obliged. Hey, we got the keychain. I get the feeling we'll, we would have gotten the keychain regardless, but... Um, yeah. But, of course, unfortunately, like, I'm not sure exactly how we keep track of, uh... Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bawas. Beetle Hotel. Uh, okay, so we learned about... Okay, so the question is, what do we learn about, like, um... All the... Okay, emails, apartment code. Yeah. Unfortunately, like, uh, don't really hear too much about, okay, logs about the log covered, yeah. We don't really hear about, about like, the, um, inventory. Inventory system is kind of, like, lacking, or at least it's not obvious. Uh, so, mansions and district. So, my goal is to, like, uncover all the clues I can. Good evening. Uh, and that's Laren. Ma'am, are you okay? Huh? Yes, I... We were just talking about our plans for breakfast, and then he... Do you need help? Is there anything I can do for you? No, like I said, I'm okay. Are we safe here? Where the sniper comes back? The sniper is long gone. They had a clear target. You're not in danger. For a second, I thought he just tripped, but then I saw... Do you remember the way he fell? I was standing to his right, and he fell away from me. So you think the shot came from one of the buildings on the right? I guess so, yeah. I just stood there and stared at him. Then Smith came and pulled me aside. Thank you. That's all. People are on their way to keep you company. They should be here soon. I can't believe it. Alright, did we get another clue? Uh, nothing like, uh, nothing specific here yet. Alright. Alright, let's check it out. We have the key. And... Young, look at this. The bullet was inside the cupboard, as we expected. Here it is. Good work. Hold on. Let me t have a look. This kind of projectile usually doesn't go very far. They probably used a comparatively small rifle to better disguise a gunshot. It was fired from a distance of no more than 200 meters, I would say. 250 tops. Good to know. Thank you. By the way, I forgot something earlier. There. You should be able to submit the sheet I sent you. I don't know if you have all the evidence yet, but you're now able to send me your conclusions once you do. All right. Sheets. Okay. Okay. Looks like there's one clue missing. Um, I'm pretty sure I missed it somehow. Rocket tower. That's what I missed. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yep. So come here and look at all the sheets. Uh, rocket tower. Okay, so I've unlocked all the clues. So the clues are essentially all the four suspect locations. Uh, the bullet info, two of them were about the bullet, and then the body, uh, you know, a foreign minister Banny, and then the wooden spheres, uh, that were in here. Empty word on Gata. Yeah, maybe at some point I will actually, like, see what it's like to, um, to side with other folks and such, but other than that... Uh, so, let's take a look here. So, according to the clues, uh, let's see. Young said it belonged to a uh, small caliber rifle. All right. So, let's go ahead and narrow it down. So, uh, ba Banny's uh, body is over here, and according to, uh, and according to the. Uh, 
to another uh, person of interest here. Um, like, uh, he fell to the left. He, she was on the right side, and he fell on the opposite. So this is essentially where his body ended up. Uh, so if you were to think about the different locations here. Sakura Hotel looks like a very likely one. Rocket Tower we rule out because the bullet traveled no more than 200 meters. 200 meters away, but his body fell. Uh, one direction. And they've already ruled it out. So, uh, yeah. So essentially, when you, think, when you put all the pieces together, uh, Sakura Hotel is the only, uh, only possible like uh, option. So you can miss if you want to. But I'm going to do the right thing. I'm just going to submit Sakura Hotel. Yeah. You know, Saul, you submitted the sheet. Report back to Gary and ask him what to do next. I think you should uh, get to the location. Got it. See you later. All right. Got everything we need at this point. So I uh, got all the clues. Talk to everyone. And uh, yeah, and that's all there is to it. Any new findings? The bullet poverty came from Sakura Hotel. Good job, Conrad. I'm sending Saito to lock the place down. You head over there. Catch up as soon as I can. Listen about those Pawnee guards. Cut them some slack. It took some convincing, but they helped me find the bullet that killed Banny. Let's cut them some slack and then question them tomorrow when the shock is worn off. Since when did you have a soft spot for Drovian extremists? I don't, but these are special circumstances. Anyway, you should get going. I'm on my way. All right. Okay. There's also the investigation. It wasn't until I was on. Until I was on there we go. He's about the train to. that I noticed the park's obscene size. The night was cool, and the mansion district was probably the quietest place in the whole center. It was one of the last spots in the area where buildings hadn't been stacked on top of each other like toy blocks. My head was unusually clear, and to my surprise, I noticed that I was in a good mood. In retrospect. I believe that it stemmed from a sense of purpose driving me forward that night. I love the dialogue in this game. It's so good. All right. What's up? Sakura Hotel. In contact with a suspicion. Why so vague? I don't know, but it looks like you definitely got the right building. Thanks, young. Talk to you later. All right. All right. So you don't need to do any investigations. You just hop right in. All right. And we are done with that, uh, that crime scene investigation. Gotta Sakura Hotel. Into the hotel. Case closed. All right. Got the news. Let's see what's new. An independent Drovian economy. All right. Well, many seem to be focused on the cultural and political. The Carrion colony. Drovia cannot freely trade with other colonies or planets. I love it so much. What? So one of the great like um, mechanics of this game is that like you get like these little like news posts that actually like fill in on like uh, what's going on. It basically helps the. Helps with world building, and uh, that's what makes this games like these so freaking cool. So let's. Uh, I want to explore a little bit more before uh, before I go into the hotel. So this is the train station for that. Uh, no news available. Okay, and that's it. That was it. Okay. Dating elite. Ennis line. Okay. Look. 
Raccoon. Good evening, Neil. Hey, Saito. Looks like you beat me here. Well, the rest of us use cars, you know. I know. Let me bring you up to speed. We locked down the hotel and told the staff that nobody can go in or out. Holloway is keeping an eye on everybody in the lobby. I flew a drone up to the highest room. Long said that uh, Long said that's where the sniper might be. It's empty, light, it's out, and no signs of life. Figured as mu much. Snipers don't usually stick around. But I did see lights in the room below. Maybe the guests in there uh, saw or heard something. I'll pay them a visit. The receptionist said that the sniper's room was rented out to a gentleman named Diaz. I had got his ID chip number already. Currently running a citywide search for it, but without success so far. Do we know what Diaz looks like? They don't have any surveillance cameras in the hotel. You know how it is. Rich people in their privacy. So no, we don't know what he looks like, but maybe you can find out. I opened a sheet. Let me send that to you. Huh. Alright. Where'd you tell the staff? That we have reason to believe that a dangerous criminal escaped from the hotel. Good work. Let me know if you get a hit on our perp's ID. I'll be inside if you need me. Good luck. All right, new sheet. Banny's murder. The perp's hair. Okay, so I gotta identify. I need to get details on the on Banny's murderer. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Neil Conrad, CDA. Could you answer a few questions? Naturally. Do you have any relevant information on Mr. Diaz for me? Anything suspicious? Nothing out of the ordinary. I sent all the information we have to your colleague. Payment info, ID number, those kinds of things. I see. I'd like to have a look around Diaz's room. Do you have a universal key card or something? If, uh, if it is absolutely necessary, yes. It is. Here you go, sir. But please be careful not to disturb any of our guests at this late hour. Thanks, I will. Good evening, Agent Long, CDI. Hey, Gary. <laughs> uh, I've got a key card. Let's have a look at Diaz's room. All right, let's get up there. Please keep it down the corridors, uh, if possible. And mind the carpets. <laughs> Jeez. All uh, right. Yep. I'm watching the witnesses while you're upstairs. Go investigate the rooms. Sure thing, Gary Long. Phew. Okay, name is that, Gary Long. <laughs> investigate the rooms. All right, so first off, let's look at what's upstairs. Oh, I can actually shoot if I needed to. Clear. An almost empty whiskey bottle and pretty expensive one at that, judging by the receipt. A piece of paper, it's ex empty except for a strange hand drawn symbol in the middle, might be relevant. Fancy bathtub, maybe the perp used it? We should have the whole bathroom checked for DNA. This looks interesting. Hey, Gary, can you come over for a second? Did you find something? I'm pretty sure a piece of the window pane was cut out and put back in. Judging from the blue residue, they used a pocket laser cutting device. You think the sniper could have fired from here? It's possible. He had to be a really good shot, though. I also saw a tiny blood stain on the carpet below. Maybe the perk cut himself when he handled the piece of glass. Good work. I'll go back to my post and call the DNA guys. Let me know when you're done. Now investigating downstairs. What the? Stay calm, man. We're with the CDI. And I'm the CEO of Norton Robotics. 
I'm serious. We got Agent Conrad and Agent Long with the CDI. I'm also serious. I'm Clarissa Norton, CEO of Norton Robotics. Oh, then the CDI teach you to knock first. We're in the middle of a high profile investigation. Matters still matter. On that note, would you mind calling off your armed drone? Fine. Make yourself, please make yourselves uncomfortable. We'd rather stand. You need to answer a couple of questions. Everybody wants a piece of me these days. Make it quick. I'm a busy woman. Do you know your upstairs neighbor? Here in the hotel? Never saw him. But I heard him take a phone call in the corridor earlier around 11 o'clock. At 11 in the evening in the corridor? I believe he was pacing up and down the hall until the person he called picked up. Then he went to his room. Was that a live conversation or did he get a recorded message from someone off planet? He spoke too, so it must have been a live conversation. What did he say? I don't know. I didn't pay much attention. He might not be have spoken Gary in at all. Anything else? Make it quick. I'm a busy one. Did you hear gunfire earlier? A gun? What kind of war zone is this? Answer the question, please. No, but now you mentioned it. I heard some noise earlier sometime between 1 and 2. I thought someone had popped the cork. Anything else? That's all, thanks. So you're leaving me alone now? You might still have to bring you in for questioning. But for now, please stay put and wait for further instructions. Of course I'll stay. My tea isn't even cool enough to drink yet. So we can't even, like, investigate that room. Okay, I think that's all the clues we have. So let's learn about what we had here. Fanny's murderer. Clues. At the Sakura Hotel, we discovered a whiskey bottle, almost empty. Cut out glass that was put back in, a note, and a bathtub. So we need to find two more clues. Fancy bathtub. Yeah. So likely we'll get those two other two clues when the DNA guys uh, arrive. I think we're done up here. Let's go downstairs. A couple of potential witnesses are waiting in the line. We really need to track that Diaz guy down. Maybe one of them has seen him leave or spoken. Go ahead and question him. You should also have a look around. It's not a crime scene, but you never know where you'll find a clue. I'll be waiting at the reception. Come talk to me once you think we're done with this place. Man, this is so good. I love this kind of game. Talk to Saito. All right. Saito, anything new? Well, I tried to find out how Diaz escaped from the hotel. Bani was shot at 1.39. I suppose that Diaz left shortly with that, probably between 1.45 and 2.15. So we have an idea when he left. The big question right now is how. There's a functioning ID scanner at the door that only picked him up once when he arrived. That means he can't have left any through the front door. Could he still be here? No. I've had my drone scan the entire the whole building for his ID twice already. He must have gone out through the back door, but you can't, don't get that far that way by foot. My theory is that he was picked up by a getaway driver in the backyard. There's a vehicle tracker on the launch pad that scans each car at the exact time it lands there. Cars aren't allowed to stick around for long on the launch pad. It's just meant for quick deliveries and pickups. Here's the thing. I went to the, ask the guard to pull the data for me a couple of minutes ago. He said someone had turned it off earlier tonight. Swore it wasn't him and that he hadn't noticed. We have to find out who it was. If we can confront whoever helped Diaz get away, you might find out where he went. I'm sending a sheet to your cell. Submit it as soon as you think you know who disabled the tracker. Maybe the traffic data will still help, even though parts are missing. The guard said your AR module can read it directly from the scanner on the launch pad. Roger that. So now we have new objectives. Diaz's escape. Oh, shoot. So we have two ongoing cases sheets that we need to complete. I'll never get used to being out on the field like this. See if you can find out how Diaz got away. Go ahead and talk to the staff. Okay. So a nice chair to... Excuse me, sir. How can I help you? Did you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? I was right here all night, but I really didn't pay attention to that. Sorry. We gave them a concert earlier, and I kept playing for the people that stuck around. Thank you. How can I help you? Have you met Mr. Diaz? Diaz, the guest from the 8th floor? I think I talked to him yesterday. He was having a late night drink at the party right after he arrived. I was packing up my things when he went to his room. I asked him about the viola he was carrying. Quite an expensive model, I have to say. Did he show it to you? 
A viola, huh? Did he show it to you? <laughs> no, he kept it in his case. He generally wasn't the talkative type. What does he look like? He's a redhead with a beard. Thank you. That's all for now. A redhead with a beard. Is that enough information? Banny's murderer. So he has a beard. He's a redhead with a beard. What kind of a beard, though? He didn't say that. Or did he? Redhead with a beard. We suspect that Diaz is the shooter. I hope I could be of service. Excuse me, madam. Can I ask you a few questions? Okay. Did you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? No, I was back at, uh, in the kitchen cleaning some glasses. Had a lot of dishes to do after the concert tonight. Can I go now? I have a young boy at home and the sitter can't sit much. I'm sorry, but the hotel is on lockdown until further notice. You might want to give them a call. It could be a while till you can leave. Thank you. I have another question. Have you ever, have you met Mr. Diaz? Diaz is ringing a bell. Don't think he ever came to my bar. Thank you. That's all for now. Mm. Worthless. Just kidding. Evening, could you answer a few questions? Uh, did you see anybody leave between car picking? Could be a bunch of people got picked up after the concert. But I'm more interested in people going in than out. I see one of those concert over. It started at 20, 30 hours. Talk, took about three hours. But some people stuck around at the bar a little longer. Thanks. Hi. Have you met Mr. Diaz? Diaz, who's that? Guess from the eighth floor. He arrived last. Nope, haven't talked to any guests in a while. Thanks. About the vehicle tracker. I heard the vehicle tracker was turned off tonight. Do you happen to know why that is? No idea, really. It's supposed to be running around the clock. Are you sure it's turned off and just didn't malfunction? Pretty sure. So it was offline. I just turned it back on. It seems to be running fine now. Plus, it's only been there for two days. It's a good brand, too. Can it be turned on or off from anywhere other than this booth right here? No. And it's just been you here all night. Nobody else? Well, sometimes I take a break. I usually ask Felicia or Byrne to take over and keep an eye on everything. Felicia or Byrne? Felicia's the bartender, the one who won't shut about her stupid kid. Byrne's the pianist. They take over for you tonight? Yeah, let me think. Felicia at 2200, Byrne at 045. Uh, both for about 15 minutes. Thanks. That's all for now. Okay. What else can we learn from here? That doesn't look like a vehicle tracker to me. There's the vehicle tracker. So these are all the logs. Okay, so we don't know exactly what car. Um, so at the very least, uh, vehicle tracker registers every vehicle coming. Yeah. So you gotta keep a log on everything here so uh if we were to go back to these cars um and we identify like when exactly he was picked up we should be able to track him through the car um all right and this is the vehicle tracker itself yeah Sorry, am I interrupting something? No, going for a smoke? Yep, might as well. Sounds like you can keep us busy, keep us here for a while. Probably. Hey, I have a question. Do you always store your whiskey in the backyard? That's an expensive brand to just leave out here. Oh, it looks like they forgot to bring in part of tonight's shipment. I'll let the bartender know. Was the whiskey dropped off here by car? Yeah, the alcohol comes often comes in pretty late. Do you remember when they landed last night? Nah. Wait, I do. I saw them arrive when I went back in after a break. It was precisely at 2210. Are you sure about the time? Yeah, I was looking at my cell right now, right at that moment, because I got a message. Thank you. So the pianist was actually quite helpful. So that means that the delivery truck, uh, 2210, hang on a second. Let me double check here. Pianist had a smoke precisely at 2210. 
Okay. Could he be lying to Ben? 2210. I mean, they weren't here for very long. Okay. 18. Yeah. Doesn't really say anything about time. But this is the only... This is the last one. So he could have gotten the time wrong or this is the... Or this is actually the delivery car. Don't know what to make of it. <sighs> so that's the whiskey. Is there anything else of interest? Nope. There wasn't. So it's just this, uh, let's see. So what clues did I get from this? Yeah, so I got crates, expensive looking whiskey. So I got all the clues from the Sakura Hotel. So now I need to start pe putting pieces together. Excuse me, ma'am, could I ask you a few questions? I'm trying to find out why. Do you know anything about it? I heard that you briefly took over for the guard a while ago. I did, but why would I turn off the tracker? I don't even know how. Thank you. That's all for now. Excuse me, sir. About the vehicle tracker. The, it was turned off earlier tonight. I'm wondering if you might know something about it. Did you stand in for the guard tonight? I did, but I, just for a few minutes I touched nothing. Was the tracker still turned on while you were there? I really don't know. I just sat there until he came back. Thank you. That's all for now. All right. I like this chair. Go ahead and talk to the staff. Happy to help. Did you see anybody leave between the 130 and 215? No, I was fast asleep until I got hauled down to the lobby. I have my own room upstairs. Your own room? Do you live here? Mostly yes. Thank you. What does Diaz look like? Unfortunately, I've never met him. The reception wasn't occupied when we checked in last night. He is the electronic check-in service. Thank you. About the vehicle tracker. My colleague said that the guard was in charge of the vehicle tracker um, in the backyard. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Smith. Smith. Is the tracker ever turned off? No, it operates around the clock. It doesn't usually break or have hiccups of any sort? I don't think so. It was installed the day before yesterday. I can't imagine it was already acting up. But Mr. Smith can certainly answer your questions about the tracking detail. He's usually not in contact with our clients. I apologize if appears untrained. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, trying to get the... Hope I can be of service. I have nothing to do with this. Any specific questions? Okay, so let's go in an investigation mode. Let's make sure we leave no stone unturned. So based on all this, there's really not a lot of detail here. Can't identify the beard. Uh... Oh, that's just the chair. Saito, the receptionist. That's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I want to go ahead. I don't think we have fully ID'd who Diaz is. Um, but Diaz's escape, we'll have to like figure this part out rather quickly. So. So these are case numbers. We close that case. Uh, we just know that Diaz has case. So I want to go over, sit down, go over some notes here. Uh, so, so far, uh, the clues that we came up with um, is that, okay, we know that Diaz drinks whiskey. Uh, okay, so cut out glass. So Diaz also cut glass and he put uh, put it back in. 
A uh, piece of paper, empty except for a strange hand-drawn symbol in the middle. A hand-drawn symbol. What exactly is it? That symbol. I wish I would have gotten a picture of what that is. Fancy bathtub. Maybe the perp used it. Should have the whole bathroom checked for DNA. Uh, crate full of expensive looking whiskey. A vehicle tracker. Well, yeah, unfortunately there weren't enough clues to like uh, to identify who he is. So they probably have a they probably have a viola case. Yeah, not a cut arm, but they have a viola case. And now uh, if we go to the logs, um, payment info, ID number. Agent Long C. Hmm. Disturb any of this. So this is the receptionist. The hole in the window. Blue residue. Pocket knife. Blood stain. He cut himself, but he also had a viola case. Viola case. So yeah, I think cut on the arm would also work here. I think that's also an acceptable answer at this point. Um, okay. So Mrs. Norton never saw him, so she couldn't ID him. So you go downstairs. Saito. Banny was shot at 139. Uh, so he was picked up between 145 and 215. So that was just early in the morning. Uh, so essentially, like... Escape. Redhead with a beard. So if he's a redhead with a beard, it's likely his beard is red too. So I think like a viola case or a cut arm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. A cut arm or a viola case would actually be both acceptable answers. But uh, but essentially we don't have information about that. So now we gotta turn our attention to the escape. Okay, so regarding this, there was a crate full of expensive uh, looking whiskey, so which was like left behind. And we know that from logs. Okay. Pianist. Redhead with a beard. So it didn't really say anything about like when uh, I was back in the kitchen cleaning some dishes. Okay, so so at 10, 130 and 215, he was in the kitchen. Uh, that's what he says. Uh, oh, that's what she says. Okay. She says like um, she was in the kitchen cleaning some glasses. So essentially like um, at that point, nobody knew where she was at. So that makes her a possible suspect. The pianist, um, he said he was here all night, so he didn't. But then later on, if we go to the pianist. Yeah, so basically like, um, so it looks like the, it was shut off. I guess the tracker had been shut off for some time here. So let's take a look. Yeah. Okay, I need to go back to Saito. You know, my hotel briefing with Saito. Okay. Oh no. Hmm. 
when he left. We have an idea when he left. So he left between 1.45 and 2.15. ID scanner, can you still be? Earlier tonight. I'm sending a sheet to yourself. Okay, so essentially the last time that um, the logs showed 2,200 hours. He left at 145, between 145 and 215. So that time, so essentially that means the tracker was shut off for at least a few hours. That actually puts it at a few hours. So no, uh, but however, according to the pianist, put the, let's see. The pianist actually left at 2210. Store your whiskey in the backyard. I'll let the bartender know. Was the whiskey dropped off here? Uh, my car. A car. So this is likely just a red herring, but it does help us to figure out that actually also uh, puts the uh, the bartender at the spotlight because the bartender at that point had light had stepped away for a bit. Um, okay. So the bartender. So I guess the information about the bartender being in the kitchen is like is likely a red herring. But the bartender also forgot about like uh, the alcohol. So the car just dropped it off, which means that when the car arrived and it dropped off the alcohol, likely, oh uh, no, 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 I don't know about, oh, uh, if the bartender forgot, that means the bartender might have, the working theory here is that the bartender may have gone to shut off the alcohol by then. Cause at 2210, the piano said it, that it came at 22.10. So, and the last car that was logged was at 22.04 hours. So that means at 22.10, there should have been um, a car logged, which means that it was shut off around that time. So it misses the rest of these other call cars. Quite possibly the bartender had actually shut it off. Wouldn't even know how, okay. After the concert tonight. So there was a concert. Okay, so yeah, between 1.30 and 2.15, she said she was in the kitchen. The pianist was here all night. So yeah, he was the... Yeah, he gave the concert. The guard. Um, got picked up after the concert. I'm more interested. It started. So basically the end of the concert that just put it at put the end of the concert at 1.30. Okay. Burn. Felicia. So the bartender's name is Felicia. And then the uh the pianist is burned. Mmm, interesting. Okay, so Felicia took over at 2200 and 4 minutes later was the uh, was the last time that something got logged. And she was there for a full 15 minutes. Which means that Felicia is likely the the one who shut off the uh, the vehicle tracker. Burned showed up at 1 f at uh, 1245. So he's uh, so essentially he wouldn't match the timeline. But what about the guard himself? So before we before we like 
conclusively say that that's the bartender who did it. I'm gonna look at the guard next. So the guard only had light. We only interrogated the guard once. So at 20, 30, 30 hours. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, he gave some pretty crucial information. He basically ends up, fing you know, like, so his information helps the finger uh, Felicia, the bartender at 2200 hours. And then reception is, uh, yeah, receptionist uh, info didn't really help. Uh, installed the day before yesterday. Can't imagine that's already acting up. Okay. Okay. Don't think he ever came to the bar. So she basically lied. Um. Coming to the end. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll we'll uh we'll verify one last time. Okay. So that's the whiskey crate and then the vehicle tracker. Yeah, the last uh ca the last car that was logged was at 2204 hours. So the so Felicia took over at 2200 hours for 15 minutes timeline basically fit this she fits the timeline actually so i think what i'll so i could be wrong but i'm gonna go ahead and say that uh i mean like it could be the bartender but here's the thing though i almost actually did it but let me go ahead and take another look at the the receptionist since this receptionist is also a possible um okay so this is like logs from way boot back young saito uh welcome to sakura payment info i payment info id number uh Okay, be careful not to... It's really not a lot of incriminating information about the, pe the receptionist. Um, I was fast asleep till I got called down to the lobby. My colleague said that the guard is in charge of the vehicle tracker. Is the tracker ever turned off? No operates around the clock. I don't think so, it was installed. Hmm. Is it possible that we could like blame the receptionist? But what, what kind of info besides this? I mean, like there's context to consider. He said he was fast asleep until he got called down to the lobby. So what did he do? Did he... So what? So if he was out for... He checked in last night. Electronic check-in service. So this is pretty convenient. This is starting... Now the receptionist is starting to look a little suspicious here. He has he has knowledge about the uh, the installation, and he's also like uh, kind of shading the guard. But there's concrete evidence that the bartender was there, and essentially, like the at that time the the tracker was working four minutes, uh, like so. It's possible the receptionist did it, but let's see. Was there anything about like a remote tracking? Okay, let's talk to the. Mm 
2204 this is so coincidental and the the the, uh, the amount of like uh, it's actually pretty coincidental stalled the day before yesterday well there's also let's see what is mrs. Norton doing here the corridor at 11 o'clock. Took a phone call at 11 in the evening. It was a live conversation. Okay, so that's just basically confirming the timeline. Yeah, so she heard and then it was confirmed by Saito later. It was shot at 139. Okay. Yeah. Is it possible the receptionist is setting up the bartender? They're setting up Felicia. Room, reception wasn't occupied when you checked in last night. If he checked in last night, yeah, so he basically did the job. He so was in and out. Uh, Yeah, so yeah, we checked in last night. Colleague said that the guard is in charge of the vehicle tracker. I think it's, I'm starting to lean more toward, yeah, this is kind of a tough session. I can actually go receptionist or, so I'm gonna narrow it down to either the bartender or the receptionist. Based on the timeline, the evidence is pointing towards the receptionist. I mean, towards the bartender. The receptionist, on the other hand, has more information. Yeah, like had had prior, seem appears to have had prior knowledge that the, or maybe that's just his job, and he's just like uh, to know these things. Yeah, this actually fits the timeline. We probably want to talk to the receptionist. Let's see what happens, though. I saw you submitted sheet. Turn off by the receptionist. Oh, shoot. Did I? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, uh... Did I say receptionist? Darn it! Hang on a second. Dang it! I meant to say... Ah, uh, frickin' A! All that work and I frickin'... Yeah. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm gonna have to fast forward all this. Dang. <laughs> I meant to say bartender!
clues. Yeah, those whiskey that was left out here. The bartender should have cl collected it. She must have gotten a bit distracted there. Based on this information, I have reason to suspect to, to suspect the bar the bartender. A twenty two hundred. After that, no more vehicles were scanned on the launch pad. However, the guard said that people were picked up on the backyard or not. According to the pianist, there was a delivery shortly after ten. But there's no record of it. The tracker must have been t already turned off. Care to explain what's going on here? I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't be honest with me now, I'll have to take you in for questioning. What? No, I have to get home. Mr. Diaz is being su is suspected of being involved in a planetary murder case. I don't have to tell you how serious it is to be complicit in something like that. Murder case? Crap, I, I didn't know what he was up to, okay? It was about the money. Did he kill someone? Please tell me everything from the start. Diaz was at my bar last night. He offered me a drink. At first, I thought he was going to hit on me, but then he said he needed my help, that he was expecting a visit today, and his visitor wanted to stay under the radar. He asked me if I could do him a favor and turn the car tracker off, offered me a bunch of money for it. I had to take it. I really needed it, okay? I didn't think it would do any harm. I assumed it was about a secret lover, maybe a famous one. Wouldn't be the first time around here. It's also pretty commonplace that our guests ask for special favors. This is a pretty small one, honestly. And I saw Diaz leave tonight. He was picked up by a guy in a white van. I re realized he had lied to me and I got cold feet. That's when I called in the anonymous tip. So that was you. Why did you say that right away, that he got away in a van? I don't know, I pay. Okay. I said he was suspicious and I hoped you'd take it from there. I didn't want to implicate myself by drawing attention to the car. I see. A white van, huh? Did you catch any more details about the car or the driver? No, I'm sorry. What does Mr. Diaz look like? He was a skinny tall guy with red hair and a red beard. Please, you have to understand, I didn't think it was a big deal. You can't tell anyone. I can barely make ends meet. I can't uh, lose my job or go to jail. I have a son. I'll think about it. All right. Wow. All right. So now we know. Uh, we have confirmation that he is. Okay. So I think like we know. I'll think about it. All right. I think I might know how our guy escaped. He bribed the bartender to turn off the vehicle track in the backyard. After she did that, white van came to pick up Diaz. The bartender gave the anonymous tip to the police when she realized that Diaz had lied to her. Sounds like a risky plan, banking on the cooperation and silence of a stranger like that. I think that part was improvised. The tracker was installed only two days ago. Don't you think she might have been an accomplice from the get-go? Unlikely. If she was, I don't think she would have called in a tip. Maybe, but we should have arrested to be sure. Leave her be. Honestly, just leave her be. We've got bigger fish to fry. What are you talking about? She's clearly involved in the whole conspiracy, knowingly or not. She did something she thought was insignificant to make some extra money. She's probably underpaid and she has a kid. Do we really want to risk her going to jail? She should have thought of that. Knowing ma makes us complicit. We'd be breaking the law. The law and justice aren't always the same thing. Gentlemen, I've been looking at that white van while you were talking. A vehicle matching the description passed by a nearby security uh, camera about the same right time. Pretty sure that's it. I followed its trail. It was last scanned a few minutes ago and seems to be parked now. Where? In the lower layers, just a few train stops away. Excellent work. Conrad, you go and check it out. I'm waiting for the chief here. He's on his way. Wanted to see this place for himself. And I'll get back to HQ. I'm of more help with the database at my fingertips. Copy that. I'll catch the next train and keep you posted. Ongoing. Okay, so I have the information on Benny's murder. I guess I'll have to wait for time to submit that sheet. Meantime, we gotta go after this. Uh, we gotta go after the murderer. 
this is actually pretty good. I think I wanted to just play a little bit longer because the game is just way too good. Get in line, get going. All right. All right, getting in. <sighs> Electronic Warehouse. Gara, Causeway Canal. Track down Diaz. Hey, Neil, did you find the van yet? Looking at it now, it seems like they dumped it. Figure as much. I dispatched the team to your location. They'll give the van a thorough screening. You should leave it behind and go after the perp now. Maybe he's still close. Be careful. I've been looking into me, Mr. Diaz some more. His ID seems to be completely fake. There's no record of it before he checked into the hotel. Fake ho IDs are very hard to come by. You need a surgeon to put it in, and a very good hacker who injects it into the federal database. This is yet another sign that we're dealing with a big fish here, or more likely a bunch of them. Copy that. Thanks for the heads up. Garrett Causeway. So we found one clue. Can we find the other two? You don't look like you're here for the concert. I wish I was. Can I ask you a question? Did you see the person that landed the van over there? Do I look like a snitch to you? Do I look like police to you? Fair. If you're not a cop, what are you? Neil Conrad, CDI. Damn, CDI? That's even worse. Look, did you see? Did you or did you not see the driver? I'm trying to find out where they went. I've only been out here for a minute. My dog needs to take a leak. Then we're going back. You're taking your dog to a concert? He appreciates good music. Are we done? You didn't see anything or anyone suspicious? Yeah. Look, man. Everyone around here probably looks suspicious to you. If you want to do some actual good, have a look around down at the pier. My friend Rob keeps having trouble with his business. Some a-holes climb in onto his boats, leave their crap behind, make a mess. That's maybe something to look into, but then you're not really interested in helping the community, are you? You have me all figured out. Have fun at the concert. Why don't you make yourself useful? <laughs> so, in other words, not really a lot of useful info. I see a boat rental shop. Slot machines. Welcome to Port Bureau Canal 39918. Yeah, not much to go about here. Okay, what are the clues here? So we have clues on the van. What's with the fancy suit? <laughs> Thanks. So we got cigarettes. And then they're out of cigarettes. Nope. No need to smoke right now. The rope on this ballard, ballard seems to have been cut by recently by a pocket laser. 
Gotta find the third clue. Excuse me, sir. Huh? Have you been here all night? Who's asking? Neil Conrad, CDI. I'm here investigating the case. CDI? Every time you're looking for a culprit, it's always down here, huh? We're all from the same city. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. I noticed a rope over there that looks like it has been cut recently. Do you know anything about it? Did someone steal a boat? Did Rob call you here? Yes. Then you should talk to him. Rob! Someone's here about your boat. I'll tell him to get up here. You heard the man. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> yes. I get the feeling I probably would have got the same result. Either way. Hey, that's the first time the cops have responded to my call. I had some punks vandalize one of my boats last month. And nobody showed. Uh, I'm not with the police. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm actually not with the police. Neil Conrad, CDI. CDI? What the hell are you doing here? I'm investigating a different case. You might be able to help me. And what about you helping me? Why does the police ignore everything I, uh, what I know? I don't know, but you have to listen to me. The man who stole your boat may be very dangerous. Help me find him, and you'll get your property back. When do you steal it? It's 3.40 now, a good hour ago. I heard the engine start, and then Ye Ed yelled something. Ed, the man down at the pier? Yeah, he wanted to stop the guy, but he's an old man, you know? I went out to see what was going on. The boat was already leaving that port. Let's see, how long did it have been in this harbor prior to being stolen? For over a week. Wasn't booked a lot lately. Is there a way to track it? All boats that go in a while are picked up by a scan at the port entrance. The port AI next door has the data. Maybe it'll spit out if you tell that you're law enforcement. I'll give it a try. What's this ship's ID? No idea. It's called Berta. Don't you have a record of that? I don't know what to tell you. It's Berta to me. Will that name show up in the system? Nah, but it's painted on the side. Do you know anything about the thief? Nah, except that it's probably a saviant. What makes you say that? Because it was Savians who vandalized my boat last month. Is that all you're basing this assumption on? Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Did you see the thief? No, but Ed saw him. Ed didn't seem to keep you know, talking to me either. He's an old grump, that's for sure. Any chance you could convince him to help us out? Ha! Nobody tells Ed what to do. Least of y'all upper folks. Why are you bureaucrats chased him out of his old harbor? If he had any sympathy for you, that's where it ended for sure. Sounds like that's something important to Ed, huh? Won't shut up about it. So you bring me back my yeah, my boat back or what? I'll do the best I can. If it turns up, I'll let you know. Alright. Logs from Rob on the stolen boat. Okay. So I'm guessing the third clue is gonna be um on the port here. Welcome to the Port Bureau visitor. What can I do for you? Show me the recent traffic data at this harbor. Access denied. Traffic is... I am Neil Conrad of the CDI. Scan my ID. Scanning. Welcome, ancient Neil Conrad. What can I do for you? Today's traffic data. Come on. Understood. Displaying traffic data. Anything else? That's all. Hey, any updates? Not yet, but maybe soon. I think a guy stole a boat. A boat? Why would he do that? Maybe to avoid scanners. Boats aren't tracked as closely as cars or pedestrians. Still, the boat should be easy enough to find. They're slow and there are scanners at every port entrance. The problem is I do not know the boat's ID yet, but I do have a record of the local traffic uh, data on screen right here. Traffic data again, huh? Do you know when the boat arrived and when it left? Approximately. I should be able to identify the right one on that list. Just give me a moment. Okay, send it to me via keypad as soon as you do, and I'll call you back if I find the boat. Will do. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, traffic data. Okay, so I got all the clues. That's good. Alright. Okay, so these are logs of all the boats. So, according to Rob... So if we go to Rob here, when did he steal it? Good hour ago. Okay, it's 3.40. So basically it was stolen at 2.40. So that's a, quite an interesting timeline. So he might have let, yeah, okay. Good timeline then. Hmm. Okay, so let's rule out these. Logs to 39. 
So according to Rob, two forty, good hour ago. Bertha. Berta. So he called it Berta. Incoming boats, outgoing boats. This likely was the one that uh, kind of matches the timeline here. Seven eight eight nine zero one. Eighteen forty zero five zero four Okay, ID number 7889-01. Okay, now let's cross-reference against... Uh, so what Rob said to... Actually, but before I do that, even, I need to go talk to Ed one more time. Excuse me, sir. Your friend told me that you saw the person who uh, stole the boat. And what if I did? Now, you could describe to me what you saw to help me track it down? Your CDI, you said. That's correct. That means you're concerned with crimes, right? Like fraud and theft? Sometimes, yes. You also help folks out from around here. We help everyone. Why do you ask? Look, I was thrown out of Matuna Harbor the other day. When I bought this boat as a young man, it came with a soft spot there. Now the whole area is being turned upside down. Construction everywhere, which are folks moving in. First they tell us it's no big deal for us locals. Two weeks ago, I'm landing my boat. Then they ask for money. New management, they say. Of course, I didn't want to pay up. Truth be told, I couldn't have anyway. I call the company. All I hear is lawyer gibberish. So I decide to go elsewhere. Look at this pitiful pier I've been staying at. Not a single decent pub in sight. If you help me get my spot back, I'll tell you what I saw. I'll see what I can do. I'll be damned. Seems like things are finally looking up. Let's connect ourselves. You can, uh, you can call me as soon as you have my spot. Okay, here's what you need to know. My spot is Matuna Harbor, right next to the Red Herring. Red Herring? It's a pub. The best one there is. I see. Very clever. That's where you'll find my Fred, friend Fred, the Harbor Master. Go talk to him. It's a few miles down the canal from here. A few miles? Can you just tell me this is really time sensitive? Nah, we have a deal. Like I said, I gotta shoot my shot. Uh, I'm following a hot trail right now. Objectives updated. Mm, I don't see any objectives. What's with that fancy suit? I don't know if that affected anything, but hmm. in that case, let me know when you found my boat. Hmm. Yeah, I have to go back here, and then I gotta call in the ID. Okay, so boats that were outgoing. Uh, so, so yeah, Rob is the only engine star, and then. The boat was already leaving the port. Okay, so it had been in the harbor prior to being stolen. So, okay. So this is the in and out logs here. Over a week. So this only logs in so let's go find what came in, what went out. So that's probably the best way to get started. So did I find 683? 
098. That's uh, that came in at 904. So was there the day before the day before 220190. It's not there. And 7889901. Okay, so that came in. Hold up. He said it. That was the. That's it. Okay. Oh my. Okay. That's the clue. That was the actual clue right here. Rob, the stolen boat. Okay, so it's been over a week. So that means it wouldn't show up in the uh, 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 incoming boats. Okay, so two two zero one nine zero. Um, so that one was never in the incoming boats log. That means that this rule rules out these two because uh, these two, since they arrived pretty recently, that means that this is the, this is it right here. Two, two, zero, one, nine, zero. Oh, uh, reset. Nope. That's it. We've entered the train. Hola. Okay. I think that's going to work. I gotta get back to the train. I got the idea you sent me. I found the boat. It's not that far away from you. I arrived at another harbor just a few minutes ago. I'm saying it's location, right? Huh? Hold on. I think I got a hit. A hit? On Diaz's ID chip. It got picked up just now. It's right next to the harbor where the boat docked. We definitely got the right one. Diaz passed to a train station on foot. Woo! Yeah! I'm good. Damn good at this game. Woo! A freaking genius. So he got on a train? No, he was scanned at both exits. You're the closest agent to his current location. Get over there, stop. I'm sending reinforcements. Copy that. In the boat? Go after the sniper first. We can check the boat later. I'm sending you the coordinates. Uh, get on the train now. Thanks, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, damn, a freaking genius. Woo! Holy smoke. Oh, man. Hold up. Dang! Yeah! Oh my god, I am freaking smart, man. Yo. Dang, this game's good. <laughs> got our Matuna residences. Just remember, um, there's a pub called the Red Herring. So he's basically wanting his spot back. Find the perp. Close the books on Diaz's escape. Man, I'm good at this game. Alright, new news. Who is Joseph Banny? Joran. Uh huh? That's pretty awesome. Cool that we're getting more uh, background on. An ad for a bar named Red Herring. It's just at the harbor, uh, just past the train station. So the other side. What's this all about? Dang, this game is good. I freaking love it. Dang, I, I actually feel like a genius in this game. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of game right here. Okay. Nope, no need to smoke. You can smoke if you want to, but uh, I think I'll like smoke and another playthrough. But for right now, this is like 
I'm gonna try to do it without trying not to smoke. I had the one smoke when I was, uh... Get your hands off me! Please stop resisting, ma'am. What am I being arrested for? You have no right. I want to talk to my lawyer. Do you have a lawyer? Maybe. You don't know. Let's call him down to the station then, because that's where we're going. No! Why are you wasting your time on me? There's a guy with a rifle around here. Ms. Grindle, there is a... Let's go. Hold on just a second. Neil Conrad, CDI. CDI, the Central Department Investigation. A case leads me here. Why ask what's going on? I'm so glad you're here, sir. These two officers are making a grave mistake. The whole quarter should be locked down right now. There's a man with a rifle around here. Ms. Grindle calls us every week. Some, last time it was for a car that was too large for its parking spot. Before that, she called us on a street vendor because he was lurking outside the apartment block. She's been doing that for a long time. We're finally bringing her in for wasting our time. Sir, please, you're at the CDI. Your oath demands that you take me seriously. I don't recall an oath about a Ms. Grindle. Don't you see I'm one of yours? You're a CDI? No, I'm an upper. I don't belong down here. When my husband was still alive, we had a nice place on the upper layers. It had sunlight and proper walls and no drug guys lingering around the entrance. I've just fallen on hard times for a while. Enough, you've been living here for 12 years. Let's go. Sir, I swear I overheard some dangerous people. They have a gun and some important data or something. They killed somebody already. She said, is it done? And he said, he's dead. Could you tell me the story from the start, please? I was watching something online where I heard voices coming from the apartment uh, next door. I was surprised. It was always quiet that I wasn't even wasn't sure if someone lived here. It was a man and a woman. They seemed to be fighting about something. I wanted to make sure it wasn't domestic abuse, so I turned off my program and listened. You never know down here what they fight about. I can show you. When I got suspicious, I started re recording them with myself. You did what? That's a violation. Just listen to it. The things they talked about. Could you send the logs to me? Yes, of course. Thanks. I'd like to ask all of you to stay put until I've had a look at the conversation. You're wasting time, but whatever. We'll wait. They really did a number on your face. But I have to say, I kind of like the noodle. You smell like whiskey. And what the hell happened to your arm? I cut myself. Doesn't matter. Well, this hideout's a crap hole. I've only been, stay I've only been staying here for a few days. Where's your violin? Funny, I gave the uh, rifle to... Blah, 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 blah. Zora, listen to me. I don't have much time. I passed by a scanner on my way here. They're probably on my tail already. Frick, what were you thinking? You're still wearing the ID chip? Why didn't you go straight back to HQ or to have it taken out? Were you able to procure the data? Yeah, the old man didn't suspect a thing. Listen, you need to give it to me. The boss called and said there was a change of plan. I'll take care of the handover. I called the guy we're meeting and told him that I was coming instead of you. He seemed a bit p p pissed, though. I think I woke him. Didn't... I expect them to be sleeping at 11. Are you out of your mind? They know your ID. They'll catch you for sure up here. There. I know the route uh, you are going to take. I know how to get rid, get on and off George Plaza without being scanned. Why didn't the boss tell me about all this? Why the hell did we change plans? I talked to the boss after the hit. He told me to come get you. No idea why they... Come on, Sora. Give me the stick. We need to move now. The CDI could be here anymore. Boy, you're up. Let me get my stuff. Give me the stick. Fine, here it is. Where are we going? We should split up right now. Keep your head down and wait for me to get in touch. Get to the... They won't be able to track me if I... 8.30, boy. Boy, you're not making this all up, are you? Are you crazy? Of course not. Now let's get this mission over with. Come on. Be careful out there, okay? We're so close to getting out of it all. You too. I know who this is. So he doesn't have the violet case anymore. He has a cut arm. So that's essentially, so that's th what we're going with here, when we can actually, like, uh, submit this info. Really, you shouldn't believe her. So what do you think of the conversation? I need to see that room. Can you show me to it? What's this all about? What's going on? This might be important for a case I'm working on. What case? It's classified. first. Nope, nothing here.
This is where I live, and the voices came from right next door. Thank you. Watch my back, officers. Hello? Anyone home? CDI, open up. You are surrounded. Come out with your hands on your head. I don't think there's any way. Shh. If you're not coming out, I'm opening the door on the count of three. One. Two. Everybody on your knees. Hands on your heads. I'm coming in. Clear. Please stay in the corridor, everyone. I'll take a look around. Tuna. Apartment nine. Excuse me, Miss Grindle. I found this key here. Any idea where it might belong? Oh, really? Let me take a look at the tag. Apartment nine, huh? It's for an apartment in this building, but they changed the way the rooms are numbered. The tag belongs to the old system. My apartment number was five. Used to be four. Used to be four. The one you searched was number five. There's a floor plan over there. Maybe you can make sense of it. Thank you. Conrad, what's going on? Hey, Gary, we just uh, got really lucky. I think that Mrs. Grindle over here called the cops on our guy. Looks like his real name is Boyd. He met a woman named Zora in this apartment here. I have parts of a recorded conversation between the two. I'm sending it to you now. Where'd you get it? Let's just say Mrs. Grindle is very interested in her neighborhood. From what I understand, the woman stole some data from an old man and gave it to the sniper. He in turn is going to hand it over to an unknown third party at Joyce Plaza at 8.30. Good job, Conrad. I'll immediately inform the chief. We'll have to intercept that at handover. Why would the sniper physically bring the data to someone, though? The only explanation I have for that is that it's tagged, that the network will pick it up as a leak. But that would mean that it's highly confidential data from the government. It's the best reason I can think of, but maybe they're just being extra careful. Hey, I found the key in the apartment the woman was hiding in. It belongs to another unit in this building. Maybe we'll find more answers there. Do you know which one it is? There's a number on it, but they changed the way the number... Who's the number? Miss Grindle said her apartment was four, and the one next to it was five in the old system. There's a floor plan right there on the wall. Go take a look at it. Maybe you can figure out the way the rooms uh, used to be numbered. I'll call the chief. Bring him up to speed. Oh. Shoot. Okay. How many clues did I get off of that? How many clues do I mean? There are three left to recover. So apartment nine, huh? That would mean that... How many possibles do we have? This is a possibility... Okay, let's take a look here. I'm glad I could help. He won't fit. Okay, so there's the floor plan. Uh, looks like this is now blocked off. You can't get up there anymore. Possibilities here. So let's see. Let's go back to the logs. The floor plan. Let's 
So the key is uh, number nine. There used to be four. The one you search was number five. How are they numbered before? So if this is four and that's five, then that means, that actually means I need to somehow make my way up there to, go back to the lot. was five in the old clan system. Apartment nine. Four and five. Let me be sure. Let me be sure I'm reading this right. <coughs> it was five in the old system. In the old system, it was for. Uh, this is four, and that's five. Five. That would mean that this likely is the one. Apartment 9, that must be apartment 9 then. But how would I get up there? See if I can't find an elevator. So this is a you are here. Can't go up those stairs. I just buy all the cigarettes, but I won't smoke them. Huh. Talk about cruelty, huh? I felt sorry for the old lady. Descending through the layers was easy these days if you didn't have one of the few jobs that still existed. Basic income wasn't enough for most people, even around here where living was relatively cheap. Although somehow our economy had never been more productive. That's four and that's five. I have to somehow make my way down here. Is 
this is it. <laughs> what? Oh shoot. What the fuck? Hold on, I'll get you out of this. Is anyone else here? What are you gonna do to me? Are you with her? My name is Neil Conrad. I'm with the CDI. Oh, thank freak. Please, I need water. Of course, here you go. What's your name? I'm Leela. Lila. Are you hurt? I don't think so. Just very sore in my fists burn like fire. All right, Lila, you're safe now. Let me call you a doctor. All right, medical team is on its way. Can you tell me what happened from the start? Yeah, okay. Frick. She she was in here, and she looked almost exactly like me. A woman was in here. Is this your apartment? Yes, I tried to fight, but she was so incredibly strong. It was like looking in the mirror, like I had a twin. She must have had some surgery to look like me. When did this happen? I came home from the client, too, maybe three days ago. She was already in here. I turned on the light and I saw myself sitting right over there. I barely had time to react. She jumped me so quickly. She must have had some augments or something. Any idea why this happened to you? Why would she try to impersonate you? I've been racking my brain about that. Is there anyone else she might be trying to get close to? I, I, I don't think I know anyone important, except for my clients, maybe. Your clients? I'm making money on the side at an escort agency. So you, um, I'm not a whore, if that's what you're asking. I mostly just dress well and go to dinner parties. We only have high-profile customers. I'm a student, and it's a good way to pay the bills. Maybe she was trying to get close to one of your clients then. You think? I mean, it could be. I missed an appointment while I was tied up. I thought my boss would come looking for me, but nobody showed. Do you think she went to him? Oh, no. What if she said something bad to him? You can testify I've been here all this time, right? Don't worry, you're not a suspect. Who was the client? A public official or something. I don't recall his name. He wanted me to spend a night at his place. My boss said he was a regular customer, but I never met him. Do you have any more data on him? Name, address? It was all on my cell, but that woman took it. I see. Is there another way to find a client's data? We might be onto something here. My boss at the Lotus Escort the agency has all of it. It's just around the corner. But don't leave me alone right now. What if she comes back? I'm staying here until reinforcements arrive. You won't be left alone. Knock, knock. Hey, Gary. Lila, this is my partner, Agent Long. Gary, could you keep an eye on Lila here for a minute? I need to follow a lead to an employer. I'll explain everything later, okay? Babysitting duty, huh? All right, I guess. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Lila, how do I find the escort agency? Just go all the way up to the roof of this building. You'll end up on the next highest layer. Take a right, and you can't miss it. Thank you. Yeah, it's just like, man, this game just doesn't like let up. It's awesome. I freaking love it. Uh, but I can't, but I'm afraid I can't like really, you know, like pause it or anything. I'll just have to wait until the, I go to the next scene or something. Oh, now they finally take down the, frick you. Jeez. Took you that long just to like, great. Freaking great. Damn, that was intense. Oh. Find Lila's boss. Okay. So I will we'll deal with that in a little later. But right now, I wanna, I wanna go to the red herring first. No, I guess I can't go to the red herring. Darn it! Why won't you let me go to the red herring? <sighs> this game's good. This game's real good. I love it. This is a great story. There. Harbor Pack. Just past the train station. 
Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to the harbor anytime soon. Uh, man, this is like so good. I freaking love this game so much. Uh, I got to tell you something like the the developers, they definitely made something awesome here. So Whoa, Groovy! Alright. So that's how we got to... That's how we rescued Lila. So... Oh my god, I can't believe it. We saved a... We saved someone. So there were three more clues in this area. That I need to check up on. What were the other three clues? Maybe I could go back to Lila's apartment. You know, like the uh, the holding place. Okay. Let me be sure that. Let me be thorough here. Come back as soon as possible. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> Thanks for helping. Me. Yeah. Man, I feel like a genius, mad genius in this game. I really like thinking a lot. The Red Lotus. So, yeah, I'm by default going to be getting in here. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Closed. We're closed. I'm not a customer. Neil Conrad, CDI. Ah, good morning. That's a surprise. What leads you here? One of your employees, Lila. Lila, sweet girl. Nice and reliable. When did you last see her? Not in the while. I just relay orders to her cell as they come in. Sometimes she doesn't accept. Mostly she does. There's a client she had this week. I need to find out more about him for a case. Okay, did he do something to her? I can't tell you. Can you give me his name and contact details? Oh, Mr. Conrad, I'd love to help, really, but it's really important that we protect our client's privacy. I'm sure you understand. I can't risk my business like that. Do I need to get a court order? I can go and come back with a court order. It's going to be a whole thing. Much harder to hide than you just telling me right now. Okay, Mr. Conrad, I have a proposition to make. I'm putting my business at risk by helping you, but you can help me make up for the damage. There's another issue that puts me in a very uncomfortable spot right now. One of my employees has quit on me despite her contract running for a few more months. I told her I needed her. She already accepted several offers over the next few weeks. We have a reputation of home. Our clients would be really upset if I canceled their appointments. Those are all high-class people relying on their our services. I told the local police already, and they wouldn't listen to me. But I have the contract right here. See? It's signed and everything. If you can get her to fulfill her duties, at least the appointments she's already confirmed, then I guess I could help you out too. Did she say why she wouldn't do it anymore? You ask her. She says she's quitting. She's been ignoring me ever since. How about it, Mr. Conrad? Oh, this is tough. Ooh, I'll talk to her. What's her name? Sheila Nowak. I'll see what I can do. But even if she doesn't come back, you're helping me for trying. Okay, okay, fair enough. Tell her we're good if she goes to the clients that she already agreed to. Maybe she'll listen to you. And don't mind her family. They're weird folks. Savians. The unit is just below us. The fastest way is through that big apartment building. If you're back down at the train station, you've gone too far in the wrong direction. You act soon. Please stay put. In the meantime, let's see what else is around here. So I have to go get one of his uh, employees back. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. unit just below them. Ok, 
Okay, so that would mean here. Nope. Yeah, it's gotta be another unit. Good evening, sir. Sorry for the intrusion. My name is Neil Connor. I'm with the CDI. I'm looking for Sheila Nowak. Is she here? What do you want from her? I would like to tell her that myself. I won't just let some foreigner talk to my sister. Tell me what you want. I showed you my badge. I'm not some foreigner. I'm an agent of the state. If that Thompson guy sent you, you're wasting your time. Sheila won't go back to him. I will make sure of that. It's all right, Anthony. Let me talk to him. I can handle that myself. You won't go back to that scumbag. Don't let him intimidate you. Would you mind leaving us alone for a moment, Anthony? Sorry for my brother. He's just trying to help. Don't worry about it. So, what do you want from me? As your brother already assumed, Mr. Thompson from the Lotus Agency asked me to pay you a visit. Is that so? He told me that you refused to meet your contractual obligations. And you're trying to force me to go back? Why won't you work for him? I'd like to know why you won't work for him anymore. Well, if I go back inside and refuse to talk to you... Then Mr. Thompson will probably try to sue you. Listen, I'm happy to help you if you're... Doesn't allow you to work. No, for heaven's sake, he can be annoying sometimes, but he would never do that. Sure, my family's not thrilled with my work. It's not very compatible with their faith. But they get why I do it. Pay is way better than the alternatives around here. Listen, I want to study space engineering on Femus, but I can't afford the fees. As a Drovian immigrant without a degree, it's hard to find a good job in Gara. That's why I've been working for Thompson, but now I have all the money I need. Thompson told me you confirmed several appointments for the following weeks. Why did you do that? Wasn't it obvious you saved enough by now? That, that's none of your business. You can trust me. Listen, Sheila, you can trust me, but you have to be honest with me. I didn't do anything that's against the law. All right, then tell me. I got a call from a woman a few weeks ago. She didn't tell me her name. She promised me a large amount of money if I canceled all my appointments for the next two weeks. It was so much that I didn't have to go back to Thompson at all, actually. And you didn't find that suspicious? Suspicious? No, I I assume that some jealous partner was behind it. Wouldn't be the first time. You said she wanted you to cancel all your appointments in the next two weeks. Which ones were those? Only one yesterday. I got my friend Lila to fill in for me. Lila, huh? Who's the client you were there to see? He's a regular. I've been going to his place every month for at least a year now. Is he someone important? I, what do you ask? I'm sure this is some jealousy thing. Please tell me who that client is. I don't think I can do that. Thompson would kill me if I give out the names of our customers. It'd be really important for me to know. Maybe he's in danger. Okay, I'll tell you if you promise you won't force me to go back to Thompson. He did sign a contract. You have to understand, it's always been on my dream to study space engineering by my parents. I suppose you know that savings have their own version of science. When my parents tr catch one of my plans to go to a non saviant uh, university, they'll try everything to stop me. That's why I need to do it secretly. Anthony helped me prepare everything without them noticing. The ship uh, to Femus leaves tomorrow morning. <sighs> All right, then. I'll try to convince Thompson to leave you alone. Thank you so much. You want to know who the re regular customer's name, right? His name is Liam Campbell. He lives in the center. Liam. All right. Do you know his exact address? 144 Wampolt Avenue. I hope he's all right. He's become kind of a friend. I'm pretty sure he's fine. Thank you and good luck at university. All right. Liam Campbell. Wow. Liam fucking Campbell. It had taken a moment until it clicked because I never called him. And he's smoking again. To me and the rest of my division, he was just the chief. That's who the woman had tried to get close to. The director of national security at the CDI. My boss. Now what? Should I follow the chain of command and tell Gary? The chief probably wasn't too keen on everybody finding out about his habit. Maybe I should talk to him first. Then again, it might be too important for the case to be kept secret. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's a hell of a dilemma. My chief, my boss. Well, I'm going to go ahead and settle things out with the, uh, with the Lotus guy first then. So how'd it go? Sorry, but Sheila won't come back. I'm sure you're joking. I'm not. She's not coming back. But she signed a contract. I supposed to enforce the law. Listen, Mr. Thompson. You will leave her alone. 
Forget about the customer I asked you about. I don't need your help anymore. But if you don't leave Sheila alone, I'll come up with something to have your phone play search. I'm sure you won't risk that, will you? Mr. Conrad, I must ask you to leave my agency. We're closed at the moment. Remember what I said, Mr. Thompson. Goodbye. Please get out of here. <laughs> All right. Wow, we got some veal fish to fry now. All right, I gotta get back to Gary. Uh, he's here. Hey, Gary. Sorry about being short with you earlier. I had to follow an important lead. Was it worth it? It was. Let me fill you in. Apparently, the woman that tied up Lila had some procedure done to look very similar to her. I suspect that she impersonated her to get close to her customer. Lila told me as much. We had a little chat earlier. I'm almost positive the client is the old man. The impersonator uh, stole them data from. The customer originally booked a different girl, but then someone paid her to cancel the appointment. Wait, what? Why go through the trouble? Why not impersonate the original girl? I guess because she's his go-to. He knows her too well and he would have noticed it's not her. How do they know that he'd pick an alternative and not cancel altogether? Maybe that's what he did in the past. Like I said, he's a regular. How do they know it'd be Lila? I don't think they did. The sniper said something about the woman's new appearance. Maybe they changed her, lo her looks after the appointment had already been accepted. And it healed within a few days? That kind of tech is rare. But how is this any any of this connected to our case other than perp talking to that woman? I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. It seems like an entirely different operation. Any idea who the escorts agency's customer is? Ooh. It's our chief. Here's the kicker. I think it's our chief. What? The customer's name is Liam Campbell, and his address is in the right area. I need to call HQ immediately. When did she meet him? Two days ago, I think. All right, listen up. Meet me back at HQ in a half an hour. Let's go over all the facts again. Get ready to interview in that handover. I have Saito looking to the owner of the hideout apartment. Let's sort the rest out later. Catching the sniper remains a top priority. Copy that. See you at HQ. As I was making my way back down through the maze of Matuna's living quarters, I tried to untangle the threads of the conspiracy before me. Every detail I uncovered seemed to open up a number of new questions. What exactly was the connection between the stolen data and Banny's murder? It felt like there was a bigger plan underneath, like we were just scratching the surface. Show some appreciation for the music. Dang right. I freaking love the music. See, I'm a groupie. I love, I am a musician at heart. Always. Just an effort, yeah. Uh. Hi, Neil. I just wanted to remind you to check out the perp's boat. The harbor is right on the other side of the train station. Thanks for the reminder. I'll have a look. Take care. To the harbor we go. And now we finally have access to the harbor. Sir, may I ask what you're doing at Matuna Harbor? Don't think I've seen you before. Good evening, sir. I'm Neil Conrad, CDI. CDI, holy moly, that's unexpected. My name's Harry Truff. I'm of TSW. Can I help you? Can I take a look around the harbor? I'm looking for a boat that could be important for my case. I'm sorry, but TSW only allows club members and registered guests down at the pier. What about law enforcement? Right. You can tell me the idea of a specific boat you're investigating. I'm allowed to let you in. Well, in that case, I'm looking for a boat named Berta. Its ID is 220190. Let me check. Right. That one's docked down at the pier. I'll let you have a look. Please don't touch the other boats. Well, I'm gonna buy cigarettes too. I might as well do that. <laughs> I like buying cigarettes, but not smoke them for some reason. I don't understand that. All right, there's the red herring. Oh yeah. The beer here is the best in town. Excuse me, sir. What does a place in this car harbor cost? How much to rent a berth in this harbor? It's fifty dollars a month, five hundred for a year. All right, I rent a spot for a year then. You? Well, I guess you'll be the type of customer manager is looking for these days. I'm renting the spot for myself. I'll send you details about the new tenant. That works too, I guess. Hello, Neil Conrad here. What? Who is this? 
Neil Conrad, I'm the CDI agent. We spoke earlier. I don't know no CDI agent. You asked me to help you with the old spot at Matuna Harbor. I arranged it. You're good to come back. You what? Look, if you're making fun of me, I'm not. You can return next month. I paid for a year. Send you the contract. Ha! Today seems to be my lucky day. Thank you, sir. You heard that, old lady? We're going back! How about in return you tell me all you know about that guy who stole your friend's boat? Right, right. I noticed the feller when he started the motor. He cut the rope with a knife like it was butter. And those are some big-ass ropes, I tell you. Tough as bones. Did you see what the man looked like? I didn't catch a lot of details. He was in a hurry to get away. But when he started speeding away, it fell right off his head. Must have been a hat, after all. Could have been a wig? Yeah, yeah, or a wig. Whatever it was, he was bald underneath. Are you sure of that? Yep, his head was polished was like a bowling ball. Great, thank you. Anything else you remember? Nah, look, my eyes aren't what they used to be, and neither is my memory. That's oh, all right, you've been a great help. Have a nice day, Ed. You bet I will. All right. We just helped Ed. Let's go look at the sheets. He's actually bald, but he does have a beard. So we're just updating, constantly updating the, the murderous stats. And his name is actually Boyt, not Diaz. Good evening, sir. Never eat at Roy's. All right, so I just helped out Ed, the sailor who lost his rent. Okay. I just paid $500 for some old man to get his spot back. All right. Today was supposed to be my day off. There's Berta. It's clear. A sink full of bristly red hair. Looks like a gay guy shaved his entire beard off. Okay. Nice. Shaved. An open first aid kit. Some untangled bandages uh, lie on top of the other con. A pocket laser cutting device. It cuts leave a blue residue. So I have all the clues now. Pocket laser, first aid kit, sink floor plan. Yeah. So our guy is actually bald with a cut arm and he's shaved. Okay, we have everything we need. Can't touch the boat if we tried. All right. We got everything. All right. Yeah, buddy. And we are now leaving for the next train. Transit. Mr. Conrad, this is Felicia, the bartender from Sakura Hotel. Your colleague gave me a cell info. Listen, I want to thank you for not telling anyone what I did. You're not going to snitch on me later, are you? No, you're good. I don't think you knew what we were doing. I didn't know, I promise. Thank you. Listen, I remember something that might be helpful. The guest you were after, that Diaz guy? I think he had a bruise on his arm. I saw it when he was on his way to the van. His instrument fell down, he rushed to pick it up, and he suddenly put his hand on his head. I saw a pretty nasty cat between his wrist and elbow. It looked fresh. Thank you for letting me know. Give me a call if you remember anything else. Dang, I, I already knew that. Darn it. That's too bad. I let her go. Going to the CDI HQ. Gara. All right, so um, I think this is a pretty good stopping point. It's uh, I have actually been playing for quite a net while, so wow, this is a good game. So. I'll likely like play the rest of this off, um, offline, and but I will also record this. So, um, 
yeah, it was great, great game overall. I loved it. It was incredible. So let me go ahead and, uh, yeah. Hey, that's a good game. All right. So anyway, uh, Lacuna, everyone. So if you haven't had a chance to play this yet, I highly suggest you do. I mean, like, this is like one of those games I, I think I'll actually make time for to leave a review. Um, but yeah, this this game it looks really great. Um, I really appreciate this kind of like game, um, you know, like a genre of games. So it has been around for you know for at least a few years, but it's had like a f a lot of sales that they were able to make a second game. And so yeah, I'll, I'm going to leave a review for this one. I was actually more than happy to play it, and um, yeah, this this is a great game. So. Uh, what else is more is there to say so um so yeah but anyway that's it for for this playthrough if you like what you saw here and want to see a complete playthrough of this please do let me know in the comments um and uh yeah if you like uh, and of course if you like the video um please if you enjoyed the watching this video please be sure to leave a like and then comment what you enjoyed or you didn't enjoy and if you want to see more awesome content like this please do consider uh, subscribe to my channel and then hitting the notification bell. All right, that's it, everyone. Uh, hang loose.